And now, a Silver Circle presentation. Leanne Taylor grew up on a farm in Collinsville, Oklahoma, and she always was fascinated by television. As she watched Perry Mason episodes on the family TV, she dreamed of being a lawyer. Leanne attended Holland Hall in Tulsa and competed in three Miss Oklahoma pageants. Through Holland Hall, she landed an internship at KTUL. After her experience at Oral Roberts University, anchoring campus TV and radio programs, and another internship, her life's calling was solidified, television journalism. I'm Carol Lambert, and I was the 6 and 10 o'clock news anchor at Channel 8 KTUL TV for right at 30 years. We covered the good, bad, and the ugly for many years, but probably the ugliest was the Oklahoma City bombing at the Murrah Building. Out of all that, Leanne brought us heartwarming stories of neighbors helping neighbors and strangers helping everyone, people they didn't know. She had a, a three-year-old daughter at home, so yes, that really touched her heart. And you could just feel her sincerity in what she was saying. It was very difficult for her. Leanne moved to KOTV in 1998 to co-anchor Six in the Morning. In 2003, her life changed forever and she found another life calling, advocacy for those diagnosed with breast cancer. Over the last few weeks, I'm sure a lot of you have noticed my new hairstyle and there is a reason for the new do. Back in November, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had surgery in December and the doctor says they removed all the cancer, but just as a precaution, I am undergoing chemotherapy and that is taking all my hair. My name is Lindsay Roberts and I worked with Leanne for about two years uh, on six in the morning. I'm a four-year breast cancer survivor. I reached out to her and I thought to myself, okay, she'll, you know, maybe she'll get back to me in a week or so. Um, and within minutes of sending that message, I get a message back that says, hey, let's talk. She took the time to reach out to me, to comfort me, and to be there for me during a difficult time. My name is Alan Crone. I am the morning uh, forecaster, the meteorologist for the News on 6 KOTV. I've been here since 2006. Leanne is uh, one of the rare talents that she has the capability of being able to, first of all, recognize when it is time to be extremely serious. And at the same time, she recognizes when it's okay to relax and it's okay to have a little bit of fun. I'm Omar Villafranca, the correspondent with CBS News, and I worked with Leanne for almost four years at the News on Six. She's real. If something's good, she'll tell you. If she doesn't like something, she'll tell you. And that honesty is worth its weight in gold in this business. There's probably a long line of countless young journalists that she has helped. She is good people. She had plenty of opportunity to move on and go to different places, but she chose to stay here and to develop uh, her talents and her abilities. And she has poured herself into this community. This community loves her. Congratulations, Leanne. Congratulations, LT. Congratulations, Leanne. Congratulations, Leanne. We welcome you into the Silver Circle Society. <laughs> Leanne Taylor, what a remarkable career you've had. You know, it's an honor to be with you on this occasion. On behalf of the Heartland Chapter Board and all of the chapter's members, I'm delighted to welcome you into the distinguished ranks of the Silver Circle with this beautiful plaque. Congratulations, Leanne. Ah, oh, thank you, Bill. That's something, isn't it? Thank you so very much. Well, my heartfelt thanks for being selected for the Silver Circle honor. When I found out about this recognition, I was speechless. And if you know me, that's rare. Growing up in school, my report card often read, too often does not listen while others are talking. So to that, now I've ended up with a career where I get paid to talk. It seems like I got the last word after all. In all seriousness, I am beyond excited and truly overwhelmed. This year, I celebrated 37 years in Tulsa television, two TV stations, about a dozen news directors, and countless coworkers, each impacting my life in some way, big or small. 
I was so lucky to start work the day after I graduated from college, working at a station I'd grown up watching. My first assignment was to shadow one of our senior reporters covering the aftermath of a tornado in a small town south of Tulsa. Feeling so out of place, asking victims to recount their experiences, I soon learned that by sharing their story, others could come alongside to help. I've never forgotten the power of my job, the influence that we can have in giving a voice to the voiceless or shining the spotlight on things some want kept in the dark. This job has given me the opportunity to travel the country and around the world. Reporting though in my hometown and in my home state has been the best honor. While I've been fortunate to interview celebrities and newsmakers, athletes and politicians, it's the story of everyday Oklahomans that has touched me the most. And it was a year-long campaign about breast cancer that I believe saved my life. One of the stories was on breast self-exam and knowing your own body. Six years after that story, I found a breast lump before it would have been detected by a mammogram. That visit to the doctor and the call no one ever wants to hear, you have cancer. So surgery, chemotherapy, hair loss, radiation, and ultimately healing, my story is not that unique, but it was my platform on television that gave a face and a name to the statistics. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer sometime in her life. That was nearly 18 years ago, and I couldn't be more grateful for every day God has given me. Now, over the years, viewers have watched me grow up, get married, have my children beat breast cancer and share the news that impacts their lives and mine. I believe we each have a path designed uniquely for each of us. I had hoped mine would involve being crowned Miss Oklahoma when I was younger. My last year in the pageant, I didn't win and I was crushed. But God had a different plan for me. That year, instead of winning the crown, I got an internship at a local TV station, which then turned into my first job that subsequently led me being here today. The TV business is very different than when I first started, but it still takes a person with a lot of drive and determination and the willingness to go where the story takes you. It oftentimes means long hours and sacrifice, and it's not an easy path, but one that is most rewarding. I challenge our young journalists out there to make your mark and continue to learn and grow along this journey. I found working for a family-owned company like Griffin Communications makes my job even more special. Thank you to David Griffin for his continued commitment to keeping Oklahomans safe, informed, and entertained. Now, I would not be here today without so many people, really too many to name. But thanks to my family, I love you all very much for putting up with my crazy hours and being put in the spotlight oftentimes when it's kind of uncomfortable. I have amazing friends who keep me grounded and many of my coworkers who I feel are family. But Dave Davis, my co-anchor on our morning show, thank you for shepherding this nomination. You are one in a million. And to the Heartland chapter of the National Association of Television Arts and Sciences, thank you for this induction into the Silver Circle.